Hello and welcome to Puar Academy by Prashant Puar. Myself Prashant Puar, and we are discussing index numbers. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to calculate passes index number. But before that, let me remind you that don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to recommend my channel to all others you know, because it will be a great help to me as well as. to whom you recommend my channel because here you find everything explained in very simple way and made say the thing very simple beyond your expectations so let's now go for passes index number and we know that in case of passes index number we need to consider the quantity consumed in the current year first column we need is p1 q1 that means we need to calculate the cost of current year quantity at current year price this is actually reality of the current year the total of this column will be the total cost we have actually paid during the current year to consume this much quantity of all these six items and this is something like notional cost p or q1 what if we purchase the quantity of current year at the base year price this can never be a reality because current year's quantity can never be purchased at base year price base year has already left okay but this is notional cost we need to calculate this to find out the index number suggested by passe yes so let's first find out p1 q1 multiplication of these two columns 30 into 18 540 that means we paid rupees 540 to consume 30 units of a at rupees 18 in the current year 2019 okay second will be 468.75 third will be 15 into 29.5 442.5 8 into 30 240 Yes, twenty-five into twenty-five, six hundred twenty-five, and thirteen to twenty-eight point eight zero, eight hundred forty plus twenty-four, eight hundred sixty-four, and summation of this three hundred three thousand one hundred eighty point two five. Sigma P one Q one. The actual cost we. paid in 2019 to consume this much quantity of these six items okay now notional cost of this much quantity at the price of base year what if we purchase all these number of units or say this quantity at this price what would be the cost okay 13 to 15 450 that means if there was no change in price of a no change in price of a then we would have paid 450 rupees instead of 540 but that can never be a, re a reality because in reality the price of a has changed from 15 to 18 rupees per unit yes that's why i use the term notional cost okay if even if you can't remember this kind of columns you may calculate the index number successfully okay now p o into q1 20 into 15 is two columns 300 okay 26.50 into 15 397.5 24.80 into 8 198.40 and 21.25 into 25 531.25 and 21 into 30 63 and 0 630 so these are the costs if we had purchased this much quantity at this price instead of this that cannot be reality yes 2507 point 15 sigma p o q 1 that will be the denominator in the formula 
Yes, let's calculate passage index number. That is sigma P1 Q1 divided by sigma P O Q1 into 100. Substitute both these values 3180.25 divided by 2507.15 all into 100. Yes. First of all, let's calculate the fraction 1.26, 1.2685 into 100. Therefore, passage index number comes to 126.85. Yes, this is passage index number. The similarity between last pairs index number and passage index number is we need to consider the quantity. But the difference is last pair suggests for considering the quantity of base year, passage suggests considering the quantity of current year. That is the biggest difference between these two formulae. Now it is a matter of confusion which is better. Last pair's index number or passage index number. Both have their merits and demerits. But I think neither of these two can be stated as ideal index number. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss about Fisher's ideal index number. First, we shall discuss just as an index number. About ideality, we shall discuss later. But the confusion whether to use base year quantity or current year quantity will not be there when we this, uh, learn about the Fisher's index number. Yes, Professor Irving Fisher, American economist, very well known economist, who suggested this ideal index number in 1921. Passe suggested this index number in 1874. But we shall discuss all these things later on. First, before going, let me again remind you don't forget to like my lectures, don't forget to visit and subscribe my channel. It will be permanently help for, for you, not only during your studies, but during your say working life also. There will be something useful to you always. So subscribe my channel and also recommend my channel to all others who you know, whether they are students or their parents. Yes, sometimes it is actually better that parents come to know about my channel. And I assure you, I am trying to make everything utmost easy for you. Yes. So that's it for now. Thank you very much. And don't forget to wear the mask during this period. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Bye-bye.